Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Stephanie and this is how we do life. I wanted to show you really quick how I make Spanish rice. I don't know if it is an authentic recipe of any sort, but it's something that my mom always made for us. And so I wanted to go ahead and share that with you because it's something that feeds a large crowd really cheap. I have some leftover bacon from breakfast this morning. Sorry, I have the rice on the stove here. It almost got away from me. I turned it down, it's fine, everything's fine. So, so I am going to make a Spanish rice because I have not only my five boys here and my husband, but I have two of my nephews here. You can double or triple or quadruple this recipe very, very easy. First of all, I'm gonna cut these two large onions. Now keep in mind that this is for seven boys and my husband, and myself. I'm not kidding you guys. These onions are some of the strongest onions I have ever cut. That was bad. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands and get going because I have some peppers and some bacon to cut. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. leftover bacon from breakfast, chop it all up, and we're gonna get to sauteing this stuff. I actually have some more peppers coming. Matt is almost here, and I'll be able to chop up like probably two or three bell peppers with this. saute the vegetables. I have the bacon grease cooking. I had it on high. I turned it down because it was just too high. Let's saute the vegetables. tomatoes. These are the large cans, the 29 ounce. This one is the puree and I also have one that's crushed tomatoes. I usually just use whatever I have on hand. I usually try and use crushed or puree. My mom always used diced but there are several of my guys who will pick the tomatoes out and not eat them so I just use the pu puree or the crushed tomatoes and there's nothing to pick out and they're completely fine with it.
my big roaster. I have no idea what size it is, but we roast our turkey in this, and it has between 25 and 30 cups of rice in here. And I'm going to take the tomato mixture with the sauteed onions and peppers and the bacon, and I'm gonna pour it in here and mix it all up so we can throw it in the oven at 350 degrees. and throw it in the oven. I have cheddar cheese, you can use whatever cheese you have. Pop it in the oven for about 15 or 20 minutes until it's nice and bubbly. Here is the Spanish rice. There is a big puddle of cheddar cheese on top and that's just because it is so thick on the bottom. I'm not sure if I can really show you. Let me see if I can move it and show you. Here's my hand and it's still like above that. So it's a thick pan. So we'll just dig into this here. Spanish rice. All seven boys plus my husband and I ate and we have like two thirds of a pan left. So this is probably what we're having for lunch or dinner tomorrow after church. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you tried this recipe, let me know down in the comments below whether you liked it or not, what tweaks you made or whatever. I did have to add a little bit of salt to mine, um, but I do like quite Shocker. I do like quite a bit of salt. He's right. So anyway, I hope y'all have a good day. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.